Welcome to Massimo De Carlo's booth here in Art Cologne. We wanted to show um, four people, a four-person presentation here. We have Karsten Hollers Mushroom behind us, and we're showing a mixture of very established artists like Karsten, uh, with Giannis Kunelis, uh, a historical artist who's passed away, a young artist, Tony Lewis, and works by Carl Andre. Um, this is sort of a surprise maybe to see at the fair. Um, it's an, a sculpture by Karsten that can be shown outdoors. And typical to his work, he's combining three different kinds of mushrooms. One is poisonous, the other is not. And it's also an invitation to the viewer to have a very different tactile experience. In contrast, we have these poems by Carl Andre. He was making these works before he made his sculpture. So he's around 20 years old. He's living in New York with Frank Stella and really kind of experimenting as language as though it's a material like a sculpture that can be moved around. Some of them you can read. Some of them appear almost more like a crossword puzzle. Here you have this idea of the alphabet of categorization. And here you have a very um, interesting collage where he's obviously taken the paper, cut it, and attached it to board. I think this is interesting because you see a minimalist artist um, showing his interest in poetry, in politics, in a way that's much more personal than his later works, and you see his interest in space and repetition. Uh, in the other room, we have Tony Lewis. He's an American artist from Chicago. He was born in 1985, and he's very interested in drawing, the limits of drawing and graphite. So here we have included nails that are dipped in graphite and strung along so that you see the marks of the work that's being made. In a similar way, we have the same idea in this drawing here, where the paper is actually laid down on the studio floor. So the natural parts of the material sort of tell a story. You have the creases of the paper, sometimes you have footprints of the artist, you have the title written here, but it's really a work that you're meant to decode and see from very close. And then the last figure in the booth is Giannis Kunalis. We're showing a number of works from the 1990s up to 2010. And what sets this work apart is that it has linen. Um, so paintings feature in the early part of Kunalis' career. So it's sort of a full circle piece, uh, uniting very typical and atypical materials in the work.